So the first thing you're going to want to do is get you a pot of boiling water, which you can see I already have, and you're just going to want to get your shells, your jumbo shells, and just cook them like the back of the box says. Um, just make sure you don't want to overcook them. Just cook them till they're just like al dente and then take them out because they are going to be going in the oven and you don't want them like falling apart and too mushy. So that's your first step. And my water is boiling, so let me go ahead and get these in here. So I've got my noodles boiling as you can see here and so while those are doing their thing let's get our filling going okay so we're gonna get going with the filling and I went ahead and got me a bigger bowl because I didn't think the other one was big enough so you're just gonna get you a big bowl and you are going to put in a 16 ounce container but this one is 15 but of um, ricotta cheese and this is just the great value brand ricotta cheese easy peasy and then, and then you're gonna put in your parmesan cheese this is one and one half cups um let's see the recipe calls for a half a cup so i'm just gonna put in half of this parmesan cheese you are going to put in half of your mozzarella because the other half or the rest of it you're going to use to top it with so Your cheese and then you're gonna put in half of your little mini pepperonis these are cute okay so you're just gonna put in half okay this looks good already y'all I love anything with pepperonis cheese noodles it's all good I love it all well, the recipe calls for which I will put the recipe in the link below so don't worry the recipe calls for Italian seasoning it calls for two teaspoons of Italian seasoning so one two and then it just calls for salt and pepper so I'm just gonna put a little salt a little pepper and then because I want to the recipe doesn't call for this but you know you can just kind of season to taste I want to put a little garlic powder in there and I want to put some basil leaves in there but that's just what you know I like but oops okay well you might not want to put in that much but um, that's it that's all you do and then you're just gonna mix it all up and that's it and so when the shells come out we'll be ready to rock and roll these are ready they've been boiling I guess for about 10 minutes they look perfect. Perfect. All right, let's get them off the stove and drained. Okay, so I've drained my noodles and I just, I have them on a plate so they can just kind of cool a little bit before I start putting them in the pan. And um, you can use whatever pan you like. I don't feel like using this pan today, so I'm just gonna use this one. It's a little smaller, but if I can't fit them all in there, I'll just, um, do two batches um, if you want to do it a bigger one then you can just go right ahead there's my noodles you can see the steam coming off and my beautiful filling yummy yummy so what you're gonna do is you need three cups of marinara sauce or pizza sauce or tomato sauce it's whatever you want to use I'm gonna use two cups of marinara and one cup of pizza sauce that's just what I feel like doing. So that is what I'm going to do. So let's get that and you're going to put it in the bottom of your pan. Ooh, I love the smell of pizza sauce. Yummy. Okay, there we go. So after you get your sauce in, then you're gonna wanna start to get your noodle. See, and they're cooked just till al dente. They're not too hard. You're gonna get them and you're just gonna start putting your filling in. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm telling you. Nothing better than shells, noodles, cheese. Yummy, look how, mm, yummy, yummy. Okay. Now I'm just gonna finish the rest of these. Okay, 
Hey, would you look at that? Ooh, look how good they look and they're not even cooked yet. Yum. Okay, I've got um, four in a row. So I got 16 in this little pan and then this is all the filling that I have left. So it's not much, but I'll um, do the rest when these get out. And it's that simple. Like literally you boil your noodles, get your um, filling made, put it in there, bam, done. Okay, so we're gonna get this in the oven and um, you heat the oven to 375 degrees. And it does say to get the rest of your pepperonis and the rest of your mozzarella cheese and put on top. But okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna go ahead and put some more pepperonis on top and I'm gonna let it bake. I think it said let it bake for 25 minutes. I'm gonna let it bake for like 15 minutes and then I'm gonna get some mozzarella cheese and put on top. So I put my pepperonis on top. I'm gonna cook these for about 20 minutes and then I'll sprinkle the mozzarella cheese on and put them back in there. Okay, let's get it in the oven. 